I train a dominant <laughs> we, we didn't work out. He worked out. The intention was for us to work out, but... Torture. Yeah. Torture. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you should do this. You should do that. So we're going we're gonna to go for the routine that he did today. And it was basic routine, routine that y'all can do. If, um, you know, you just have a dumbbell or a ball. Y'all you will see. But let's introduce her. What's going on, y'all? It's your favorite personal trainer, Dominique. I have a, a bachelor's of science degree in kinesiology and health fitness. I have a certification in ACE, and I also work in strength conditioning with athletes. Hey, y'all know me. Nazam certified. I'm already use my certification, though, so if you want a trainer who is going to actually answer your call, link, link Dominique. But we're here to share our knowledge, as M. Alexander said, with knowledge and the vibe. No, I know it's a different time, so I'm not expecting a to pull up, but y'all can catch the replay. But either way, remember, if you're watching it live or if you're catching the replay, hit the like button. <laughs> <laughs> so hit the like button, y'all, as y'all come in. Um, I do want to start with some. Is Idris? Yeah, Idris is cool with that. Y'all already know Idris is my husband. You know, Idris Elba. Idris Elba. Yeah. Ah, oh, cool. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Uh, Hunter, thanks for being in here. Um, <laughs> so, he worked out. I was the eye candy this time. It was the eye candy. That's funny. You know, we need the views. <laughs> Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? I, I almost, I almost took the tank top off, but I don't want to offend nobody. I want to get a strike. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get a YouTube strike for new. Pick up yourself, Puncha. Thanks for being in here. Happy Saturday, Batsu. I'm glad that you're in here. You're definitely gonna benefit from this conversation. Everybody will benefit from this conversation. And shout out to everybody who's in here, even though we changed the time. We usually go live at 6 p.m., but we we did it today at real way earlier, like seven hours earlier than usual. But it's gonna be a great conversation. You want to talk about anything before we start shooting the video? You know what, y'all? I really want y'all to pay attention to this and really get what you can out of it. Uh, the exercises we're gonna be presenting, you can make a, a plethora of workouts out of them and really get your notepad, notepad and pen out, so that way you can take notes. And even if you have to watch the playback and to get a repeat of what we're talking about, this is going to be very helpful for you because this can save you. This can be a, a injury saver and it can really help you benefit more in the gym and help you, uh, I guess, get more of those gains. Because mm -hmm. we're going to be breaking down proper form. And then we're also going to be talking about like why you do certain things when you exhale. You know, just um, y'all will see it. But um, I guess we'll dive into it. Because as I, as I said, I figure more, most people are going to be watching the replay anyways. And um, we're probably going to do this more often um, whenever we're in the same city. <clears throat> so, yeah. But let's get into it. We're going to start with the... Honestly, don't remember which one this is. Hit the like button as y'all come in. Well, when we see it, we see it. We'll figure it out. Oh, dumbbells. Let's do it right here. All right, let's go. So as you see, we're doing... Well, he's doing <laughs> dumbbell presses. Go ahead. So we're doing a squat press. And as you can see with the squat press, you want to make sure that you're doing a squat correctly. And also, if we go back right there, if we pause it kind of at the bottom. Okay. So if we pause it right yeah. there, if you look, my elbows are close to my knees and I'm pushing my hips and my butt back. Now, this is important. The reason why it's important, and this is the most important thing of the exercise, because you want to make sure your knees aren't going over your toes. If your knees are going over your toes, you're not engaging your hips enough. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, you want to be able to use your hips to open them up more. If you have stiff hips, you if you have hips that are that, you know, you're sitting all day, you're doing things that aren't uh, helping your hips. You have tight hips or weak hips. You need to use utilize them more so that way you're able to open them up and help them get stronger and more range of motion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Let's talk about. Um breathing all right so y'all will notice breathing when you exhale is my biggest thing like i'm always whenever i train my clients i'm always reminding them to breathe because that is important 
And that's one thing that we always forget, especially when we get caught up in the reps. Like, okay, what number am I on? <laughs> you know, we forget yeah, yeah, to breathe. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm always telling you when to exhale. So notice when Dominic is coming up, he's exhaling. You're going to exhale when the exercise is hard. So the mm -hmm. exercise is harder when you, he's coming up in a squat and then when he's pressing for the um, the dumbbell presses. Right. So let me show y'all. So I'm going I'm to say when he's exhaling. So exhale, press, exhale, mm -hmm. inhale, inhale, exhale. Yeah. Yep. So y'all remember that always remember to um to breathe to exhale and then remember to keep your core tight so what yeah. i always say is as if somebody's punching you in your stomach so you're tightening your core but you're still breathing you know a lot of times when you tell clients to tighten your core they think that means to, to hold your breath yeah. <laughs> and then that's how you pass so shout yeah. out to orissa thanks for being in here yeah. bella shout out to you hopefully you guys having a great saturday morning and y'all learning something from bella this. rings happy birthday to your little one by the way oh happy it's birthday. a birthday it's her son's birthday. Yep. Oh, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. All righty. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Y'all guess what happened. So with Five the seconds. so with the when you're doing a shoulder press along with this, this is a compound movement. So when you're doing a when you're doing a compound movement, make sure that you're really getting you perfect your form. Mm -hmm. So if you see if you see how I have the dumbbells on my shoulders, they're not they're not hanging down. Mm -hmm. They're sitting they're mm -hmm. sitting on my shoulders. All right, I'm holding them up here and I'm making sure I'm keeping them stable and I'm holding them there. And then when I come, come when I explode up, I'm pressing them straight above my head. A lot of people go in a circle. They're mm -hmm. going a circular motion, and that's a lot of wasted motion. You want to you want to punch straight up into the air. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you want to keep like look at the range of motion. Mm -hmm. Right, so it's like a straight line, especially yep. with the elbow. So yep. it's not going out or anything like that. You're right. not moving. Yep. That's what you want to prevent right. injury. So yep. my battery died. I'm uh, not prepared because we're working on it this uh, morning. So I have to go use the. So if if anything happens, that's that's what happened. God bless squat. This is my least favorite yep. squat. I hate it. Yep. And also with this one, it's the same thing. If you notice how I'm keeping my shoulders back, wait, okay. Wait, 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 wait. But if you notice how when I'm doing this goblet squat, I'm keeping my shoulders back. I'm looking forward. Mm -hmm. I have the dumbbell here. OK, mm -hmm. you want to make sure you hold it with both hands. Don't try to do it with one hand or don't try to hold it a, a different way. The most effective way is to hold it here mm -hmm. because your elbows are in. Mm -hmm. You're able to keep your shoulders back, chest up and you can you can keep it in a secure place mm -hmm. and the the more in you tuck your um elbows the easier it is to keep your core tight yep. and then remember breathing is important now one thing i want to point out notice how his back is straight especially when he's coming up like what well, we just talked about in a straight line so yep. you're not moving what's it called the the lateral i don't even know the terminology but he's moving up and down yep. mm -hmm. not not Yep, I'm moving, I'm, I'm, I'm moving, uh, I'm moving vertically. And, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 vertically. yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's keeping steady motion and keeping everything tight. Remember what we talk about with the core, keeping your core tight. No, the goblet squat is my least favorite exercise. I cannot like, I mean, yeah. I just don't yeah. because it's like the holding it. Like it's really hard for me um, because I I cave my shoulder, my chest in. Yeah. So you got to make sure like you stand yeah. up straight so yeah. you you breathe um, easily or better. Um, <laughs> David said, God bless squats are for people who go to the gym to try and be pretty. <laughs> Man, I don't know about that one because I do goblet squats, but I go heavy. I go heavy. Yeah, so. no, I don't be pretty when I do goblet squats. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, also the next exercise. Don't forget to hit the like button as y'all come in. Chelsea, pick up yourself. Chelsea. Oh, this is my favorite exercise, Romanian yeah. deadlift, aka RDLs. So you can do this exercise with different, with with different equipment. You can do them with kettlebells. <laughs> you can do them with dumbbells. You can do them with a barbell. You can do them with, uh, you know, you can do them with wh whatever you like, or you can do them with no weight uh, and just practice form. Mm -hmm. The this exercise is very important because you're working your hamstrings, you're working your glutes, um, you're working your core. This is a really good full body uh, movement uh, because and what you and if you look right here, I have my feet shoulder width apart. Mm -hmm. They're not too far apart, and also I'm hinging at the hip. The most important part of this movement is hinging at the hip. Mm -hmm. And if we pause it right there at the bottom, if you look, my head is straight down. If you if you look at the top of my head and make a line down to where my hips are, it's a straight line. 
-hmm. And that's exactly how you want to be because if I have my head up while doing it, what's happening is I'm, I'm, I'm not, my spine is in neutral and I don't have a straight line from my head to my hips. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that everything is aligned, everything is neutral. And once you hit, if you're not hinging at the hips enough, what's going to happen is your knees are going to go over your toes and your whole form is going to be compromised. Mm -hmm. um, in, or instead of thinking of bending over, think about pushing back. Yep. So, um, uh, analogy that I always use, y'all remember in um, Legally Blonde when they were in the salon and they were picking up the pen and she was like, oh, yeah. and she was like pushing her, like flirting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So ladies, if you're at the gym and your gym crush is there, <laughs> And your gym crush is there. Just think you're pushing the bumper back. You emphasize your hamstring and your glutes. And then when you come up, you're going to exhale as you come up. So as we talked about earlier, um, on this motion, so inhale, exhale as he's coming up. And then also he's putting emphasis on his heels. Now, your toes don't have to lift. If, if the... Um, if the video is sticky, it's because of Wi-Fi acting up. So bear with us. As long as you guys can hear us, it's fine. Um, so your toes don't have to lift. I personally lift my toes because, because that's just how I think. But you want to make sure that you're putting majority of the on your heels so you can emphasize your hamstring yeah. and your muscle. Um, I RDL is one of my favorite. It mimics the the hip hip, hip thrust. thrust. Yeah, that a lot of females like yeah. to do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I for RDLs because my hip is so whenever I do the hip thrust I usually break form with RDLs or Romanian deadlifts it's harder for me to break form um big up quiet storm thanks for being in here quiet storm drop Dominic's link to the chat if y'all want I'm sorry come on shout out to Basuata. um quiet storm drop Dominic link in the chat so if y'all want more detail as I said Dominic reach out to him but yes Bella RDLs are fine RDLs are my favorite like I can't do a leg without RDLs I can't even do just a RDLs only like they like RDLs are babe but let's move anything else you want to add about RDL um this this is a good exercise to, to really hit the hamstrings and the heavier the the, the more you'll target them and mm -hmm. I me personally I like to go heavy because your hamstrings help stabilize your knee mm -hmm. and it helps make your lower body stronger. And also your, it also helps with the glutes. And always remember y'all, your glutes are the engine to your lower body. They, they're your glutes are to keep the whole posterior chain going. That's why they call it the posterior. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's more than just have, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. You have to right. build your glutes. No one right. to mention with the RDLs, um, a lot of people complain about lower back pain when they're doing the RDLs, that because um, it depends on how close you're holding the dumbbell. So, so notice when he's coming oh. up, how close the dumbbell is to his mm -hmm. leg. You want to make sure it's not out. So it's not in line with your shoulders. It's back. Um, for me, as I said, I overthink my form. So as I mentioned, like sometimes I'll lift my toes to make sure I'm pushing through my heels. I also make sure that my thumb is rubbing, rubbing on my shin when I come up, just to make yep. sure my arms are close enough and of course you keep your core tight so as if someone is punching you in your stomach so when you tighten your core you're in that defense position but you're still breathing you're exhaling as you come up let's watch it one more time so he's exhaling notice that straight back you look like like a gorilla <laughs> notice that straight back notice that his arms aren't moving the yep. only move movement I'm keeping, is my, I'm keeping my shoulders back also mm -hmm. keeping my shoulders back because a lot of people will round out yes, their shoulders, that's another thing. and that's how the weight starts flying. Yes, out in front yes, of you. and that's how you get yep. injured. Yep. So in this, and this is why, like, I like personal trainers who emphasize form because form prevents injury. Like, what's the point of having biceps and a nice, you know, glutes, but you can't walk because you because <laughs> you blow up you know, your back or something? from working out. So form is extremely important. So pay attention to form. I would prefer if y'all go down in weight to prefer to yeah. um, perfect your form. And 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 uh and, and Bashua said said a really good comment that that's in relation to what you just said. Adjustable dumbbells do help with low progression because you start working your way up and mm -hmm. get a little bit heavier. Mm -hmm. You start strengthening those muscles, and that's when you start getting stronger ligaments and tendons. Mm -hmm. But don't go up until you perfect the yep. form. Yeah. And sometimes you know you like you you feel yourself break in form yep. you know you readjust yep. and come again shout out to yep. it's that if you pay attention the good basketball player like me <laughs> yeah like me we're on your toes entire game. pick up yourself thanks for being in here 
All right, Robert, I see you in here. Big up yourself, Robert. All right, wait, how old is this reach? Oh, so this these are called renegade rows. This is what you do for your upper body. Okay, you hit a push up. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. These are not for everybody. Okay, these are not for everybody. All right, this is more for people. This is more for people who who have good coordination and who have good upper body strength and core strength. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to try these without having to uh without hurting yourself and get lightweight like fives five pound dumbbells and you want to be on your knees you want to be in a modified mm -hmm. position now what i'm doing i'm doing them in a regular standard position and i'm going all the way down and i'm rolling it up and one thing i'm doing is we're going to run it back right okay. now we should have probably did the individual videos but oh, <laughs> man, you did a good job now one thing i'm doing is I'm not, I'm not, pause it right, pause it when I'm pulling, when I'm rolling it in. Boom, right there. Wait. All right. Okay. Yep. So if you notice, my shoulders are still square or, or, or as square as they can be. And I'm not overextending mm -hmm. to where I'm at, I'm off balance. Okay. When you're pushing down, when you're, when you're going down for your push up and then and exerting the force going up, when you're breathing out and you're going into row, a lot of people, they'll get these heavy dumbbells and they'll, Force their way up, you know. They lean it back like Fat Joe. <laughs> they lean it back like Fat Joe, and they're throwing it back out. Yeah, they lean it back. You know what I'm saying? They throwing it back out. They throw their shoulder out. You throw, you know, you you, you tweak something in, in in your in your upper body, and then you're trying to figure out why you hurt in the morning mm -hmm. because you didn't do this right. Mm -hmm. And this is a good exercise for posture. Mm -hmm. This work, you know, the push-ups are helping work your chest, your back, your shoulders, and then the renegade, the rows are going to help with your back as far as strengthening your shoulder girdle, your um, your lats, your traps, and just in your core to help you stay stable, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this is really good for posture. This is perfect for people who have uh, rounded shoulders, post postural issues also. I always rewind it back too far, but I wanted to show the, his push-up form. Y'all notice how his elbows are back, so they're not, oh, that's yep. a common mistake that a yep. lot of people make with push-up. So you want to keep your elbows at a what degree angle, like a 45 degree angle from your side? Yeah, yeah I, I would say, I would say that 45 to 90, because a lot yeah. of people, you know, a lot not everybody can go down. So even if you go like even a little bit down, and as long as your elbows are behind you, nobody's going to, you know, nobody's going to mm -hmm. be a stickler about it. And it takes a lot of pressure off of your, your shoulders. When your yeah. elbows are out here, it puts mm -hmm. too much pressure on your shoulder. But I really like this exercise. This one is fire. The, these are no joke. Has Bella Ring say, if you've never tried this, I would recommend trying it. Even if you do it um, like on your knees, modify. Yeah. Or if you do it without weights where like you'll yeah. push up and then just lift your arm up. Yeah. Because it tightens your core. That yeah. instability when you're um, rowing up. And I yeah. love that you touch on how to keep your shoulder, your um, chest parallel to the floor mm -hmm. even when you're rowing so mm -hmm. for those of y'all who not understanding what he's saying so notice when he's rowing like his chest is still parallel to the floor like if he's not twisting yep. at his obliques mm -hmm. and that, that right there is a really good workout yep. um but it's an important one to do with proper form yep. um uh with mill transportation so i wish there are exercises for truck drivers you listen oh, these, these are exercises for yeah. truck drivers and and here's another thing too you don't have a lot of these exercises that we're going to be talking about to, that we're talking about today you can do with no equipment you can mm -hmm. do with no equipment you can do these uh renegade rows with no equipment you can be on the ground and do a push-up bring your hand in mm -hmm. you don't need to you don't you don't have to have dumbbells and then you don't have to do a squat press with dumbbells you can do a squat you can do squats outside you can mm -hmm. do your v you know more exercise that we're showing you outside mm -hmm. But uh, Whitmill, if you just contact me, I can help you come up with a truck driver workout. Just mm -hmm. contact me. And um, I have a, my best friend husband is a truck driver, and he will travel with his jump rope yep. and stuff. Where like you know, every time he pull over, he just do a quick jump because as a truck driver, you're sitting. With sitting, him. hamstrings are tight, yeah. hips are tight, and I know most truck drivers don't stretch. They're eating fast food. You know, they're intaking a lot of calories. They're not mm -hmm. burning a lot of calories. They're probably not getting enough sleep because you know they're working a lot. Mm -hmm. So 
Yeah. You know, it's easy to let yourself go when you're a truck driver, but mm-hmm. you, that's why you got to be intentional. So no excuses. That's why we're here. But as, as Dominic said, contact him if you want more details. Here's a form. Show the supplies. So we get for dropping the link and shout out to you with for being in here. All right, let's continue. I, this is one of my it's one of the least favorite, favorite exercise because I know it works. And when you do it, it's like a full upper body. It works your chest, your shoulder, your back. The roll. Oh, let's do the um exhale. You, you see how the muscles are popping too. That's what happens when you know when you do <laughs> shred it like lettuce or shred it like cake. <laughs> cut up like a birthday cake. Shred it like lettuce. Cut up like a birthday cake. Yeah. I want to go over the breathing. So when he pushes down, when he pushes up, he's exhaling. So remember what I said earlier: exhaling when it's hard. Yep. Basically, so in a push up. When you're going down, gravity is bringing you down, so it's not as hard as when you're pushing. Oh, that's yep. the hard part. So yep. that's when you want to exhale mm-hmm. with the rows. The rows mm-hmm. the hard part. So when you're drawing it to your um your side, that's when you want to exhale. Uh, let me see. I see a comment right here. Uh, Courtney says, "Should you push to failure or have sets of reps?" Well, it depends on your goal. If you're going for if you're if you want to exhaust your muscles. Push the failure. If you want to do, if you're going for hypertrophy, uh, then you want to do, you want to do maybe three, three set, three to four sets of eight to ten, and you want to up the weight every time. Now, if you're going for muscular endurance, then you want to do four sets of about fifteen to twenty, because you want to, you want to endure, you want to take your money, but with lighter weight. Hypertrophy, you want to go heavier. Okay, push the failure. That that kind of depends. Okay, mm-hmm. so. Mm-hmm. It just depends on what your end goal is. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I yeah. If you can push to failure, if you're building muscle and you can push to failure, then you're probably not um, heavy enough. Like if you can do more than 10, 12 mm-hmm. reps um, and your goal is to build muscle, you probably can up the weight. You don't need to go over 15 um, reps if your goal is to, to build muscle. If it's endurance, then yeah, you can go up to 25 reps, but you know, with proper weight, with proper weight form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good question. Show that to you, Courtney. Thanks for being in here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, it's just like push to failure doesn't even. I, I have a video. My friend was recording me doing push ups and he was like, failure, failure. And I was like, 10. 10 is failure, okay? <laughs> I don't be doing no failure. Mac, Mac, max out sounds a little bit more uh, positive. You yeah, know? So max guess. out sounds positive, but I mean, hey, you know, in in, in, in personal training terms and me and Chantel's terms is muscle exhaustion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because your muscles are exhausted and they're filled yeah. and they're filled with lactic acid. So, and I would I would recommend saving that for the end of your workout, so like your yeah. last workout, because you don't want to push the failure in your first workout yeah. and then you're too tired to finish yeah, your workout yeah, routine. Yeah, yeah. So um, a burnout set is something that you can always, I do it like hit. So like I will lift heavy and then at the end of my workout, I'll do a hit where it's like it's timed or it's I'll do it till failure. Usually, as I said, oh, my failure is like 10, 12 or 15. Yeah. I'm not going to 25. Yeah. <laughs> but let's continue. Shout out to everybody who's in here. All right, so that's um oh so we switch it up with this one. Yeah, yeah, go. You can take this one right here because because you made she made me do this, y'all. She forced me against my will to do this one. <laughs> this is basically the, so the same push up as he was doing before. Wait, let me rewind it. Same push ups as he was doing before, but instead of a roll, he did like an uh, oblique mountain climbers, right? So where he brought his el- his knees to his elbows. Of course, when you bring your knees to your elbows, that's when you want to breathe. That's when you want to exhale. So this is really cool because um, when you're in that push-up position, you stabilize your core, so your work core anyways. But also when you're doing that el- knees to elbow, you're utilizing your, your obliques. And if y'all don't know the obliques, is that side, that little cup that gave that V, like, yes, we work out. Y'all remember that movie with, um, what's his name? The, one, the high school musical guy? Corbin Blue? No, the white one. Is that the white. Yeah. yeah, I didn't mean it like that. The white guy. <laughs> um, there he was in this one movie where he took off his shirt and you see like everything like sh- 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 cut up and he had that like oblique muscle. That right there will get you doing it. <laughs> Ladies, you don't really need that. But if you want to do it, you can do it. Yeah, this yeah. is mostly for men to get that V size. So you yep. push up, you exhale as you come up and you exhale as you bring your knees to your elbows. It's pretty cool. It's a yeah. nice um, burnout hip routine. You're so, gonna say something? So, so uh, I, I see a comment here, uh, and it says Viper J it says, "How do I get rid of my gut? I'm already intermediate fasting to jogging in the morning. Contact me, and I'll get to that. Mm-hmm. Contact me. My form is on here. Scroll up. You'll see my Google form on here. Fill it out, and I'll contact you. And we can get the we can get to the bottom of that answer. 
because if you're already if you're already intermittent fasting then that's good you're already on your um, yeah. diet routine and you're jogging in the morning um yeah, yeah definitely contact dominate because yeah. then maybe you need to incorporate more things in your workout routine um but the, on the bright side you've already started right you already did the intermittent mm -hmm. fasting and you're doing the cardio mm -hmm. i from the top of my head i'll probably say you need to incorporate some um weightlifting weight um but once you do a consultation with dominic he'll be able to go more into details yeah. and yeah. yeah because then also maybe it's your intermittent fasting but maybe you're eating something that's keeping you bloated like for yeah. me for example i found out the hard way that i should not be eating is it cheesecake fair <laughs> You, no, like, I, I mean, I, that's what I no. thought you were going to say. I'm sorry. I thought, no. That's what I thought you were going to say. My bad, my bad, my bad. I follow the hard way that I should not be eating broccoli because I get really bloated when I eat broccoli. Mm. So it's like I was worried. You know, broccoli is healthy. Mm. Um, so you're thinking like, yeah, eat my chicken, chicken breast and my bro broccoli, but I wasn't losing weight you know how i wanted to lose it so um i think like as dominic said contact him and the y'all yeah. can talk into detail about yeah, your yeah, specific yeah. Yep. but no we always eat cheese and factory over here right you know yeah, we yeah, never yeah, not yeah, eat cheese yeah. and factory it's, it's one down the street right yeah so, look, <laughs> right I'm, I'm looking i'm looking i'm looking <laughs> all right let's go you said chelsea said girl me too exactly <laughs> Oh, Yona, shout out to Yona. I need, I need tone arms like Shanta. How do you get at this exercise? Yeah. Push up, planks. Or, or you can contact Chantel oh, yeah. or myself and we can help you get those arms. Or that, that too. You know, exactly. I, I think that solution works better. That's just me, though. That's just me. Exactly. Let's continue. As you guys come in, don't forget to hit the like button. All right. Oh, she said um, broccoli get her blow. So yeah, girl, mm. I stay away from broccoli. Mm. All right, so we went over this exercise. The next one that we're going to see here, I want to say is the shoulders. So we're doing lateral raises, and we're doing the side lateral raises, and we're doing front lateral raises. And what that's working is the front of your delts, which is your shoulder. And it's also working the top of your chest, which is the top of your pe pectoralis, pectoralis major and minor. And you're working the side of your delts. You're working uh, the side of your shoulder. OK, mm -hmm. and what, what I'm doing it in that combination, because you want to hit you want to hit all of your shoulder. You know, it's OK if you do, you know, side lat raises and that's fine. But you got to make sure you hit different parts of your shoulders, too, mm -hmm. because what this also is helping with is posture. Your 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 antagonist muscles are going to be your back, your shoulder girdle uh, when you're trying to come down and uh, go uh, go through your um, I'm sorry, the concentric phase of your of your uh, of your lift. Of your mm -hmm. shoulder lat raises and you want to make sure that you're you know that you're making sure your shoulders are back you're looking forward you look confident and you're able to lift it up sideways and front ways so that way you're fixing those rounded shoulders because for my people in here who work in offices or sit in the chair all day or you know they're on their computer or they're always on their phone your shoulders are going to be like this but when you're doing exercise like this you have to bring your shoulders back and open up your chest that's why a lot of people have tight backs tight hips, her uh, back aches because their chest is always closed mm -hmm. and their back is always being, you know, their back is op you know opening up the whole time and that's when it starts overcompensating. Yeah, you overcompensate your traps, especially like your lower trap, your upper trap, when you, you don't mm -hmm. build your shoulders because your shoulders are weak. Yep. So then you put too much pressure on your trap. And as, as Dominic said, especially if you're working from, you know, from a desk or something yep. where you're always in that position, or I was even reading an article when you're always on your phone, you know, you're looking down yep. on your phone and stuff. Um, so you really got to be mindful of that and you have to work shoulders. Yep. Um, I was going to say something. I don't remember it. But shoulders important. Oh, yeah, I remember now. You know those men who be working biceps and triceps and then you oh, get shoulders? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks weird. It looks <laughs> it weird. It looks weird. It looks weird. <laughs> So mm -hmm. shoulders are important and trust me i hate shoulders too but shoulders are important it's not just for you know to be looking good but it's also for the form especially since we live in a social media um computer world especially yeah. if you work from home yeah. um i saw courtney said should you work out should you work out if sore or if you're sore from previous um is it normal to be sore off the more for the most of the week yes i one exercise uh, from one exercise, um, if that's an exercise you haven't done in a long time, most likely, but, and it also depends on how much weight you do. So that's, I mean, that's kind of a depends question, but if you haven't done exercise in, in a long time, and yeah, and if you did a heavy weight, yeah. Mm -hmm. so. And I know I, I hate those, it depends answer too, but yeah. then definitely, yeah, if you, if it's a new exercise, 
definitely you're going to be sore for me. I mean, sometimes I am still sore from my from my workout. If I switch things up, if I change up my routine, if I increase my weight, and then you want to be, you don't necessarily want to be sore at a point where you can't walk or you can't move, but you want to be sore to the point where you know you did you worked out, like you felt it, because yeah. your body will adjust. So yeah. if you do the same thing every day, like you do the same workout every day for weeks, eventually your body is going to adjust and you're going to start building your muscle. So you need a, you're going to hit a plateau. So you want to switch, switch up your workout um, yeah. so you can um, trigger your body, trigger your muscles. So yeah. there's nothing wrong with being sore, but you don't want to be too sore all the time. Yeah. If after every workout you can't get out of and, bed, that's a problem. And, and that's where you got to practice the recovery phase of your exercise, of your exercise program, stretching. Mm -hmm. ice baths, uh, massages, uh, investing in recovery, massage guns, mm -hmm. and just doing different things that help you recover faster. Because when you're exercising and you're working your muscles, your muscles are simply tearing. They're tearing. They're mm -hmm. essentially tearing. And that's when, when people are like, oh, I'm shaking after I work out because your muscles are torn mm -hmm. and they're trying to recover right after you, right after you lifted heavy. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so rest and protein too yeah. will help. Yeah. And a lot of water, drink yeah. a lot of water too. Yeah. And but just embrace soreness. I mean, as yeah. I said, if it's not sore where you know you, it interferes with your regular routine, but sore is like okay, I feel it, I worked out. Um, it's a it's a good thing. Ain't nothing wrong with being sore. Um, that kind of soreness. A TK travels for culture. That's an interesting name. Big up yourself, said yes. <laughs> Switch all the eyelash passport roll. Oh, passport where's the passport? Bro. I didn't bring my passport, y'all. It's, it's back home. I didn't bring it with me. Switch all the eyelash and fingernail appointments for the gym time. Fast 14 to 16 hours a day. Big up yourself. Thank you also for supporting said yeah. gym time and fasting. Yeah. Gym time is super, super important. Yeah. Um Fasting is important too. Yeah, you want to cut off when you eat. The only thing with when you suggest 14 to 16 hours, it depends on your lifestyle. Um, I always suggest to to do a fasting schedule that works for you because sometimes you don't want to bite off more than you can chew, basically. Right. So if you start with a 14 hour, like you probably go fail, especially if yeah. you never fast. Like, yeah, come on, yeah, you're probably yeah, gonna yeah. fail. You, you, you're gonna hit the cheesecake factory right after you. Now yeah, you're gonna get the extra bread, yeah, like extra double bread, up there. Extra, uh, extra slice of original. You know, exactly. you're gonna throw some chicken and your pasta out there. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so I, I like the 14, 16 window too, but you want to gradually get there. So, you know, probably start with eight. It or you know like like mm -hmm. gradually get to it but shout out to you tk yeah. thanks yeah. for being here and you know that's why we're here we're here to help people who don't know mm -hmm. and who ex who are beginners and who want to explore you know figure yep. out what works yep. for them yep. also y'all if you have a question please i we can't answer every question that's in the chat this is why we have our forms up in the chat so you can directly contact us so we can give you the best answer Yes, I know there's people in the chat answering questions for you, but at the same time, I want you, we want you to come to us so that way we can give you our best answer and that way we can help you uh, more effectively mm -hmm. because you never know, you might need our services. You might need somebody to hold you accountable, mm -hmm. whether it's in person or online. So if you have any questions, just contact us directly via Google form or email or however you want to contact us. And doing a doing a one on one consultation allows for you to um, find something that works for you. And as I always emphasize, it's like you gotta find something, a lifestyle routine, a workout routine, a nutritional plan that works for yeah. you. And yeah. Batsua has said that I've learned that protein is important to recovery. Mm -hmm. um, as a result, I emphasize protein with each meal. Yeah, and I see you over there cooking, Cha. I see you over there. Your husband must be happy. <laughs> Pick up yourself. Thanks for being in here. All right, so. This one was a lateral, the side and um, four yeah, lateral races. I'm yeah. mm -hmm. um, for that nice yeah. round shoulder. Yeah, y'all yeah, see them shoulders. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look like Dwight Howard. You know what I'm saying? And then those were standing presses. Notice yeah. his his mm -hmm. legs, y'all. So that's for balance. That's for stability. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of times I see people doing shoulder press, and they'll ha they'll have both feet apart, uh, as far as them being parallel instead of a stagger stance. And here's the thing. I like doing a stagger stance because your base is you have a more solid base. And when you're struggling with the weight, you're not arching your back. Because mm -hmm. when people have when people start struggling, they start arching their back and they start going backwards. Mm -hmm. And that's that's how you end up getting hurt. That's how you end up letting the weight fall back. 
And I stagger stance is my favorite thing. Now, if you look at now, if we go, if we go through this again, if you look at how I started that exercise, let's go back to how we started it and pause it real quick. So I have the weight at a 45 degree angle. Okay. Now I know y'all like Dominique, why aren't you doing here just yet? I have it at a 45 degree angle with my elbows in the, the best way to know is if your elbows are pointing out at a 45 degree angle. Okay. And what I'm doing is I'm hitting the front of my delts. Okay. A lot of people typically do a shoulder press with the weight right here, parallel kind of with their shoulders, kind of like on their shoulders. What they're doing is you're working more of the side of your delts and your back. That's more for your posture, which is fine, but you're putting more of an emphasis on your back than your actual delts. When you're doing a shoulder press, you want to have it at a 45 degree angle. So that way you're working the front of your delts too. People miss that a lot of mm -hmm. times, especially in the gym. Yeah, that wide, that wide um, mm -hmm. press is a very, very common yeah. one. Yeah. Um, this, this, what you call it standard stands with mm -hmm. one foot in front of another yep. um i like that you mentioned the arch in the back because i'm guilty of that too when you're doing yep. the presses and you get tired mm -hmm. you tend to put that arch in the back that's mm -hmm. what you call back pain so yep. of course, as i've been saying the whole time you want to keep your core tight yep. because the core is the basis of everything the core is in the middle right yeah. i mean yeah. and we're not talking about the abs we're talking about your whole core as i said someone is punching you in your stomach, say you tighten your core, but you're still breathing. So with this exercise, Dominic is exhaling as he's going up. Let me show you guys again. With this one too, he's exhaling when he's going up because that's the hard part of the exercise. Um, inhale when you're down, exhale as you go up. For the presses, you're exhaling as you're going up. I see the, the angle of the, the um, elbows, as he was saying. Exhale as you go up. Even when you turn it out, exhale as you go up and keep your core tight and focus on your stands. Uh, okay, and then I think we did, well, you did. <laughs> we, oh, Arnold, uh, <laughs> Arnold presses, this is like my yeah. favorite. You wanna talk about it? Yeah, Arnold presses are really good for, for, for mobility in your shoulders too, because I know people who can't even do this, even with light weight. And what you're doing is you're starting in the front, the way that your hands are facing you, okay? And as you're pressing up, you want to go straight into there. A lot of times people make them a common, people make the common mistake of going all the way out and wasting a lot of energy that they can be using instead of going straight up and twisting, right? Going straight up into the air. All right. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times when people doing shoulder, just a regular shoulder press, they they want to bring it out to the side versus just going punching straight up into there. Remember. Mm -hmm. Uh, any anything you do this a press is going to be like a punch it's going to imitate a punch a bench press is going to be a punch straight up in front of you shoulder press is going to be a punch above you okay mm -hmm. um and then also that rotation i don't remember it i don't remember it specifically but i know that rotation in the arnold presses also work your front delts mm -hmm. and then presses mm -hmm. so arnold press is just like a great exercise too yeah. i recommend yeah. it whenever yeah. when back in the days when i used to train men every single day they would be doing arnold I know they were. I know their shoulders were on fire. They walked out, you know, looking, looking slow. Viper said, "How much water are they again?" Contact me. Yeah. You know, I, I I appreciate the questions, but please contact me, and we can answer. I can answer any questions you have. If you want to consult for an hour, two hours, let me know. Fill out the Google form. I got you. I got you, Viper J. We are gonna get you right, man. Big up yourself, Viper. Thank you so much for supporting. And the only reason why we've been saying like you know contact us because I know there are general information out there. Like some people say eight glasses of water a day, a liter. Some people even say half a gallon a gallon. But it depends on you, yeah. right? Because so what like I could probably drink a gallon of water a day. Dominic probably needs two, right? But it depends on his lifestyle. Yeah. If he's out outside more often, and I'm sitting yeah. inside with my AC, yeah. you know, so it's like. Must it just nice. <laughs> it just depends on um on you so it's important to get like a one-on-one -on -one. even if it's just like the consultation and like a few sessions yep, so you yep. can like know what you're doing yep. um find something that's specific to you i can't stress that enough because aren't you vegan or vegetarian vegetarian and, and also also i'm certified to do nutrition mm -hmm. and meal guides mm -hmm. so viper j hey or anybody out there in the chat that's wondering about nutrition i do meal guides i i, I put together your macros your uh your your calories your uh your nutrition goals if you have any allergies if you're vegetarian vegan i can i can tailor your nutrition meal guide 
to whatever you want it to be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, and that's why I don't recommend like a lot of people, a lot of people swear by the keto diet. I don't recommend a specific diet for yeah. people who I don't talk because yeah. Dominic can do the keto diet because he, he you know, he yeah. limited with the, um, yeah. the meat, yeah. the protein that yeah. you, you can eat. Where we know in keto, you limit your carbs, but you up your protein. So it's a lot of chicken breast and it's mm -hmm. a lot of beef and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So like it really just depends on your lifestyle. It's not like a one for all thing. Yeah, there's general information that you can um, probably implement, but it's really important that you get specific based on your lifestyle. Yep. So we're ending up with... Um, and so this these are all exercises that you can do with a dumbbell. Yep. Now we want to move on to exercises you can do with a medicine ball. No, I had all full intention of working out, y'all. Don't be judging me. I had intentions of working out this morning. She had her workout clothes. And she, everything. She, 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 look, she looking like everybody <laughs> training, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but when Dominique came and picked up the ball, I was like, oh, it's just, it was just cool. <laughs> This is a medicine ball. Squats with a medicine ball. You want to talk about it? So I got my feet a little bit wider than normal, but you can also have your feet sh just shoulder width apart. And I'm going, uh, as Chantel told me earlier, ask the grass. And you don't have to go all the way down. But the thing is, even if you're going halfway, it's still considered a squat. The the key things that I, that I want to emphasize here is hinging at the hips, pushing your hips and your butt back, and then dropping your hips and your butt so that way your knees aren't going over your toes and keeping the ball close to you okay a lot of times people will have it you know sometimes people will have the ball away and what you're doing is you're you're putting more stress on your back because now you're going down and you're bending forward instead of just keeping the ball tight keeping your shoulders back keeping your chest up and being able to go down effectively mm -hmm. and going back up. Yeah. And also when you, when the ball is out, your shoulders get tired, you tend yeah. to lean forward. Notice yeah. every exercise that we've reviewed so far, dominant back is straight. Yep. Let me re rewind that so y'all can see that. Keeping a straight back. Oh, wait. Okay, y'all, we'll fine, start over. Fine, 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 fine. <laughs> we'll fast forward to that one and then we'll just come yeah. back to it. Yeah. Um okay so notice how straight his back is he's going up and down notice he's not leaning mm -hmm. forward i guess he was tired at that yeah point. yeah yeah <laughs> i was tired of chantelle she was yelling at me y'all she was yelling at me she she's nice on camera but she was she was 50 more That's yeah not... yeah 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 so you want to make sure also when he's coming up he's exhaling as he come up it's very similar to the goblet squat if you think about it i like this one because it, it it um, helps you get a deeper squat as the grass, as we said earlier. And the ball is just more comfortable to hold as opposed to the, the dumbbell. So um, you can do both. Or you know, if you're like me and you prefer one, you can do this one. It works the glutes. Just keep your glute tight. Make sure yep. you're pressing through your heels. They exhale as you come up. You keep your back straight. The, a ball this big is also good for you to um, keep your back straight because, mm -hmm. you know, you're not leaning forward. So that's something you want to be mindful of. I know we come to in reps and we just want to get through the workout whenever we're working out. But you got to be mindful. And you know what I've been saying since we started? Keep your core tight and exhale as you come up. All right, let's rewind the video because we didn't start from the front, the top. So these are ball slams. I like mm -hmm. them as a end of routine or a hit day, a burnout, you exhaling as you slamming, you keeping core tight. This is a great cardio routine. Want to talk yeah. about it? And if you notice, if we, if we go back, if you notice, when I when I have the med ball above my head, if we can pause it, if we can pause at the top, I'm on my toes. Now, now Akuna, Akuna, uh, Akuma mentioned this earlier. Basketball players, I'm a basketball player, and we're good on our toes. And when you're on your toes, you tend to have stronger tendons to a degree and also this is an explosive workout for athletes too uh this is this is great because you're able to uh, <laughs> you're able to be more explosive you can help with your vertical you can help with your power your speed and be able to really uh really take take your game to the next level oh lord oh i'm <laughs> laughing at it, it was a comment it was a comment we just saw stop it get some help yeah, let's go ahead. Can, you the comment? Or can we see the comment? So, are you watching Auntie Allen book a session with Dominique and reclaim your masculinity with fitness? I mean, hey, look, if you bought, if you bought your mind and you want to reclaim your masculinity, you, oh, you come, see? come, you see? come work out with me online and in person. 
You know what I'm saying? We we here. We here to rec- reclaim masculinity. Shout out to uh. Um, Dominic want to get me canceled. Stop it. Get some help. You know, hey, hey, we fat phobic. Okay, we're not fat phobic. We're not fat phobic, y'all. I promise y'all. We're not. We're not. We're not. I am. I'm afraid of getting fat, so I am fat phobic. But back to the exercise, you were saying with it being over your head. So you want to bring it over your head. A lot of people, they cheat themselves and just bring it here in front of their face. Mm -hmm. You want to bring it way above your head. And as you slam it, a lot of people want to use their back to slam it, and they're not using their hips. So if you pause it at the bottom, if you pause at the bottom, it looks almost like I'm in a squatting motion. Mm -hmm. The ending motion is like I'm in a squatting motion because I'm using my hips to go back, and that's how you open everything up in your lower body because I'm and I'm leaving the pressure off of my back. Because if I was just to do this like I'm bending over, I'm gonna end up throwing something out of my Mm -hmm. back, no matter how old or how in shape you are, you're going to end up hurting yourself doing this. Mm-hmm. So you want to make sure you're on your toes when you start, ball above the head, and you want to slam it straight down and make sure you slam it hard enough to where it comes back up, you pick it back up, and it's a repetitive motion. Mm-hmm. And then also when you start with it overhead, you um you you elongate, I guess the word mm-hmm. is, the core. Mm-hmm. And then when you slam it, you tighten it. So it's a great core workout. Yep. Too. It's a great full body workout. Yeah. I like ball slams. Whenever I'll do like hits, there'll be like 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, or 30 seconds on, whatever I do my hit, I incorporate ball slams with it. It work your shoulders, work your arms, work your core. And because it's in a squat position, yep. it also works your lower body. I'll show y'all one more time. You exhale as you slam the ball. So exhale, exhale. Yep. Exhale. It's a great workout, y'all. I would definitely recommend it. And so what could they use if you don't have access to a ball? I mean, a ball like if, Amazon if, is like that. If, if, you, if you don't have access to a ball, then I, I would just pretend as if you have one, like you're slamming yeah, it down. Yes. And just and just do that and just practice the motion because you're still getting a good core That's workout. True. You still have to maintain your equilibrium. You still have to be up on your toes. You still have to make sure that you're practicing correct form. So when you do get a medicine ball, you can just move up quicker as far as how heavy it can be. The heavier it is, the more explosive you can do it. That's a good point. If you if you pretend mm-hmm. to do it, because it's just it's that range of motion. Yep. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Although I think the next one is what we did the first. Mm-hmm. The one yep. we did the first. Yep. But Isaiah, shout out to you. Thanks for being in here. Yeah, we talked about this one. Notice the back is straight. Mm-hmm. Exhale as you come up, keeping your core tight staying on your heels a lot of people in squats let me pause it here a lot of people get off their heel because it's that ankle flexion if you don't have mobility in your ankle you tend to if your um calves are tight Mm -hmm. you tend to you know get up on your toes yep when you're squatting if you find go as low as you can without lifting your heels what you can do is also elevate your heels so you can have like um something on the floor and you put your heels on it that will help you to stay on your heels. And then there are stretches you can do to um to loosen your ankles and your your calves. So, but a lot, and that's one of my pet peeves to see people squat and they're on their toes. Just like yeah. stop it. Get some, yeah, some help. Get some help. Get my help. <laughs> Pay me and I'll and I'll help. All righty. So that's that for the mm-hmm. balls. It mimics the goblet squats too, as we said earlier. Yep. And then we have, we have, uh, I think we have another video of me doing the uh, med ball slam side to side. There Mm -hmm. we go. Mm -hmm. So if you look at this, this is another core exercise and you see how I'm using my body to turn and I'm also turning my feet. A lot of people don't want to turn their feet. And what you're doing is you're, you, you want to make sure you turn your feet. So that way you're able to, you're, you're not over, you're not, uh, overworking the knees and you want to be able to slightly turn your feet. And also you want to slam it on the side. So you're working your obliques being able to really, you know, get that explosive movement. But mm-hmm. this is a really good core exercise also. So so what you could probably do is do the front medicine ball slams mm-hmm. and then the side medicine ball slams yep. as um, like in your hip, hip routine. Yep. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off routine. This is really a good one. And as we said earlier, if you don't have a ball, you just pretend fake ball it until you get a ball. Mm-hmm. All righty. So that's that for that. As y'all come in, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank y'all so much for joining us, even though it was last minute and it's at a new time, but y'all pulled up though. Oh, Dominic was showing out with this one. Go ahead and talk about it. Yeah, we got the med ball push-ups and you can do it with the big ball that's behind me. You can do it with the small ball. The the smaller the ball, the harder it is because your hands are closer together 
and you have to really concentrate those muscles. And as you can see, you know, you see, you see the triceps, you see the biceps, you see the shoulders. When you do it correctly, your, 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 your back's not arching. Everything is straight. Everything is neutral. Your chest parallel to the ground and your, your grip, your, your forearms are able to help you grip the ball and you want to breathe in and breathe out and be able to really work. Now, if you want to do a modified, make sure your knees are on the ground. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, this one is a really good one because it's a regular push-up, but it's a little bit harder because you're on the ball and it's an unstable surface. It forces you to keep your core tight, so it activates your core. Yep. So this is this is a really good one. Let me rewind it one more time if y'all missed it. Of course, it's like, it's advanced. Like, come on. Some of us in here can't even do a push-up, much less a yeah, push-up on a yeah, ball. Yeah, yeah, so, you yeah. know? so don't try to hurt yourself trying this. This is just something you can do if you're at an advanced level or if you want to try to see if you can do it. If, at least if you do one, at least you know, like, oh, snap, you can do it. So you build up to the 50 that Dominic is doing yep. eventually. And then these two are done. This, this is, these are called archer push-ups. And I'm kind of doing, I'm, I'm really doing it in an advanced way because I'm rolling the ball over to the other side. And I'm using my core to keep myself balanced the entire time. A lot of people will just do one side, do about 10 to 12 reps on mm -hmm. one side, then they'll switch it to the other side. But I just went ahead and did it that side. And then the next one, we're doing B-ups. All right. I'm keeping everything straight. I'm going all the way back full extension without touching the ground. And I'm and I'm using the medicine ball and I'm, I'm breathing out as I'm propelling in and I'm breathing in as I'm going all the way back. OK. And then I'm going into our crunches with my feet up and I'm just extending my arms straight up into the air. And what we're doing, these are these are quick you know, good workouts you can do with the medicine ball. This, we, we, we really just can stop it right here and say, that's a full workout right yeah, there. Definitely. We really can stop the yeah. video right here because yeah. these are very essential y'all. We, I don't know anybody else giving y'all free game, breaking down everything exercise by exercise for, for an extended period of time y'all, because this is something we, you know, we could just say, Hey, we can make it a Patreon, but we want to make sure we mm -hmm. help everybody and give you the tools to really get yourself right in the gym and, you know, whether it's in a regular gym or an apartment gym or outside, Absolutely. doesn't matter. Um, definitely both exercise routines that we went over with the dumbbell and then with the medicine ball. That's like a two day workout right there. Shoot. Um, you don't have to do everything we're talking about today mm -hmm. at the same at once. You can do the first one on Monday and the second one on Tuesday. The third one we bought a show. So we definitely give it yeah, um, free game. A, a full free week game. of workout. <laughs> This is a free game. We, yeah. we giving out a two two week two week workout plan right here, man. So hey. exactly. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna move. Oh, my favorite equipment, the um um TRX. So we're doing squats, okay? Now, if we pause it real quick, we pause it. If you look at the grip, if you look at the grip on the TRX, I'm I have I have my thumbs out and I'm and I'm barely gripping. The, the the TRX, the hard handles of the TRX. The reason why is because I don't want to be dependent on the handles. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure I'm still able to get what I can get out of the exercise without having a lot of assistance, okay? And we want to make sure that we're going deep into our squat. We have assistance now. And I always emphasize to my clients, if you're doing a TRX squat, I want you to go as low as you can. So that way you can open up all of your hips, you're getting good form and you're practicing good form. So that way when you're off of your TRX bands, that you can be able to, you know, do a squat without having any assistance. Mm -hmm. And you see I'm holding it for a few seconds and I'm just going halfway to show y'all that you don't have to go all the way down. Mm -hmm. But if you have knee issues, ankle issues, calves issues, you can go halfway and call it a day. Mm -hmm. And as I said earlier, sometimes when people do squats, they tend to lift their heels and yep. be on their toes. The TRX is mm -hmm. a great um, way to help you fix yeah. your form yeah. and you can go ask the grass easier with the trx and as dominic said you know you, you build up you and um, perfect your form as you go so eventually the goal is to not be dependent on the trx Stuart, shout out to you thanks for being in here it's been a while you. i know right <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while Stuart. thanks for showing up um yeah but trx is a great great tool of course it's it's not in a lot of gyms. If yeah. you go to like the big gyms like LA Fitness and stuff, you might mm -hmm. find it in the room. Yeah. Um, and then to get it to get it on yeah. Amazon, then you yeah. have to find somewhere to pin it in your home. Yeah. So, um, but it's in a lot of, like yeah. a smaller gyms, like yeah. apartment gyms. I know it's at Anytime Fitness. I think it's at Planet Fitness, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Yeah. If, if if you're at a gym and they don't have TRX, we got a problem. You got a problem. TRX yeah. is very essential. And also, a lot of people don't know this. 
if you have the right attachments, you can put TRX in your garage. Mm. You can put it in your home. You can put it in your garage. I know clients that have it in the garage, and they tell me, hey, give me a workout. So, um, yeah, Dom they said Dominique is training like Goku in a hyperbolic time chamber. That's hilarious. Power level on 9,000. We super sane in the gym, man. We we try, we we exercise like Goku and Vegeta, man. You know, I'm a 90s baby, so I get it. Yeah. Make up for self exposure. Um, and also, like, if you have a park, say you were to get a, a TRX and you have a park, you could find like something if they have mm -hmm. like a goal post or something. It. Yeah, yep. put it up there. But I definitely like the TRX. I, whenever I train older clients, I um, use the TRX a lot because it, it will help them with their squats and stuff, like, um, help them to build up the form. Yep. And there are a lot of things you can do on the TRX too, as y'all gonna yeah. see here. Dominic did a yeah. lot of things on the TRX. Yeah. And and, I, and I'm gonna explain this fairly quickly. Uh, you so so like I said, we're gonna we're, you know we're not gonna make too long, but I'm gonna explain this very quickly. So what I'm gonna do next is jump squats. This is very good for athletes, or if you want to learn how to jump properly, this is good because you have something to help you. And if you notice, I'm keeping my same stance and I'm not deviating from anything. I'm using my hips to jump straight up, to get more explosiveness, to get more air, and to be able to do it effectively. Okay, let's go. Let's look at that again. I'm not. I'm not over exaggerating. I'm not bending forward too much. I'm still. I'm using my hips. As you can see, let's stop it at the bottom right there. Yeah, let's stop it at the bottom. Boom. Y'all see how far I'm going and using my hips? That's exactly how everybody should be doing in this chat. And if you look, my knees aren't over my toes. That is super important because when you're doing a squat jump and your knees don't go over your toes, you are asking to tear a ligament in your knee. You're asking for it. And you deserve it if you do it, <laughs> honestly, because we're showing you how to do this. And this should be something that you should do. I'm not saying jump high as high as I am, but you at least try to get up a little bit, even if it means just jumping like an inch mm -hmm. and just working your way up. Um, one thing I want to emphasize on this one, notice when he lands, we will see it. Notice when he lands, he lands with his knees bended. So he's not landing in a, a straight, straight position and then yep. squatting. He's landing into the squat. A lot of yep. times people will jump and then land That's with great. their with their knees locked. It causes yep. a lot of pain. Yep. A lot of pain if you land with your knees and, locked. And athletes, athletes, if there's any athletes listening, please, 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 as much as you learn how to jump and catch a ball or dunk a ball or whatever the case may be, Landing is more important. Learning how to land is just as important, if not more, than how to jump. Because when you land, when you know how to land, you know how to keep yourself from being hurt. Because if you land incorrect, a lot of your ACL injuries that happen, specifically in basketball, they happen when a player is landing. For example, Clay Thompson when he tore his ACL. Uh, you know, uh, I, I, uh, Paul George, you know, he, he shattered his tibia when he was trying to decelerate and land. You know, it's it's a lot of things that you guys got to really learn how to do as far as landing. Landing is so and even for the regular person, the non athlete, this is super important. Tantamount to anything else, because if you land stiff legged, it's all it's over. Mm -hmm. with. You can tear everything. Mm -hmm. Most definitely, especially if you're starting off, as I say, you don't want to um, put so much emphasis on the exercise and not proper form. Um, exhale as you jump up, land soft, meaning you land with your knees bent. And yeah. And then the next one I want to say it's Curtis we're lunges. Doing, we're doing lunges. our backwards lunges. So what we're doing is I, I'm slightly bending forward because of the TRX. But what I'm doing is I'm going back far because I'm trying to keep my knee, my foot, my uh, the knee that's forward going over my toe. Okay. So we so we go back a little bit. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. I'm tripping, tripping. Yeah, so look. if we notice, we can pause it. We can pause it when, when I'm when I'm going backwards a little bit. Boom, right there. If you notice how I'm going back, I'm looking down to make sure that my knee isn't over my toe, and I'm going further back than what I'm than what I'm normally am on a regular lunge. The reason why is because I have the assistance there. The TRX allows you to do things like this, so mm -hmm. that way you're not 
uh, you don't have any contraindications on your form. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, I'm not too far back from the bands. I'm not all the way here. I have a slight bend on my elbow and I'm mm -hmm. able to really work. Mm -hmm. it. Yeah, that slight bend in your elbow yeah. is important. It protects yeah. your joints. Yeah. If you're too back, then it just it throws mm -hmm. your form off too yep. much. So you want to make sure you're mindful of that. Um, with a reverse lunge, you're exhaling as you're coming up. So you're exhaling. You want to make sure that you emphasize the yep. front um heel. When you're pushing up to target that glute that is at the 90 mm -hmm. you went that leg that's at the 90 degree angle mm -hmm. that's the glute that you want to target um yep. so exhale as you come up i like reverse lunges reverse lunges also easier on the knees um for if you have any knee injury or anything like that than forward lunges so forward lunges is when you're stepping forward Correct. Reverse lunges is when you're stepping backwards. So it's going to be hard to step forward with the TRX anyways, yeah. I think. Right? Yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah, and I, I, I would just do backwards lunges. If you have knee issues, you know, I, I had a client who, who had bone on bone, who didn't have any cushion between the knees. If you're, if you're recovering from a lower leg injury, mm -hmm. work on, use a TRX to your advantage. Mm -hmm. You will allow yourself to be more comfortable exercising. This will alleviate any fear that you have after your injury or if you feel like you can't move at all because mm -hmm. you got to have some type of assistance you literally can do a full workout on the trx as, as y'all will yeah. see because this is a yeah. trx everything we do with the trx so that's more reverse lunges mm -hmm. as i said exhale as you yeah. come up yeah. keep proper form yeah. focus on that keep your then, core tight and then we're going to go into our side lunges mm -hmm. so if we pause it right there boom all right this is perfect so if you look I'm 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 not going too far out to where my back is overcompensating. If you look, my knee, my right knee isn't going over my toe. The leg I'm going away from, my left leg is straight. A lot of people, the typical mistake I see with people who don't know how to exercise or just in general, that that leg they're going away from is slightly bent. You want to keep that leg straight because you want to allow yourself to push off that right leg. Mm -hmm. You don't want to cheat the exercise. And so when I come up off that right leg, I'm pushing up off. I'm pushing up off of it. I'm opening, I'm pushing my uh, hips and my butt back. So that way my knee isn't going over my toe. Mm -hmm. Okay, boom, oh, that's perfect. Look at that that's low glass at ass to grass. <laughs> it's because of the TRX yep. too. Mm -hmm. Especially if, you, if this is your first time doing this exercise, you might be scared that you're gonna fall. Yep. The TRX actually helps hold you in place so you don't, you don't fall. Yep. Great form yeah. on this one. Exhale Thank as you, you come up. Just Thank you. I have a trainer, right? I had a trainer that helped me out. Yeah, while I'm doing that. Thanks. And then the next thing we're doing is curtsy lunge. Curtsy lunge is good for your glutes. Uh, it's also good. It can be good for your core also. But I uh, I normally don't do this for myself. But this is I see a lot of ladies doing this in the gym, you know, for the bumper. But, you know, you know, the curtsy lunge is good for being able to uh, work your glutes, work your hips, uh, and just putting the emphasis on those exercises. Make sure that your foot is at a 45 is perpendicular or the mm -hmm. 45 degree angle from the mm -hmm. other foot so for example if you watch what i'm doing i'm stepping at a 45 degree angle i'm not mm -hmm. stepping directly behind because that would be a backwards lunge mm -hmm. i'm not stepping too far to the side because that's how you end up hurting your knee mm -hmm. you know you're stepping perpendicular to mm -hmm. where your foot is okay? mm -hmm. facts go ahead and hit the like button y'all get the cash up oh that's on the ones oh yeah hit the cash some cheesecake factory <laughs> That's just courtesy lunges on yep. each, each side. Yep. See, I almost lost my balance, but mm -hmm. see, that's why I got to take y'all's time. And then you can even just do that, do one side just like that, mm -hmm. and then switch to the other side mm -hmm. where you take your time. So the next thing I'm going to do is TRX rows. Now, if you look at this, my, my whole body is straight. We can pause it. We can pause it right there at the bottom. Boom, right there. Now, if you look, I have a slight bend in my knees. Now, you can be on your heels, but me personally, I like to have a slight bend, but even then, from my head down to my feet, it's basically a straight line. And you want to make sure everything is aligned so that way you're able to pull yourself up. A lot of people like to hip thrust up when they're doing the TRX row. I don't know why, uh, because we're not doing hip thrust. And also people want to sink their hips back mm -hmm. uh, when we're not doing a squat. So you want to keep everything straight because what you're doing is you're putting emphasis on the back. This is really good for posture. Once again, all my people with rounded shoulders, all my office people, this is a perfect. This is a perfect exercise for you. Mm -hmm. This is something you should do. Also, if you want to make it more difficult for my advanced people, scoot your feet up. Scoot your feet up oh, towards the TRX. Did. I think you did it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm scooting my feet up, mm -hmm. and I'm going at a lower angle. The lower the angle, the harder it is. And now, if you look, 
your body has to be straight. Your body has to maintain posture and you have to be even straighter mm -hmm. to make sure that your core is tight, make sure you're breathing and also hold on to those hands because if you let go, it's over with. Gravity will with. kick you in. Gravity is going to kick you in the butt and you're going to have a, you're going to have a concussion for about a week. So uh, one thing I want to mention with this one, this is a great way to build up um, your strength for doing a push up. Yeah. So ladies, if you know your goal, Perfect. if your um, New Year's resolution is to do a push up, this is a great exercise that you can incorporate. Big up yourself, game changer. Thanks for being in here. This is a great exercise you can incorporate. As Dominic said, the further in you are, the harder the workout, the exercise will be. So um, if you start off further out and then you as you build up your strength you go in and that's something fun you can do every week you try to take a step in yep, yep. further and then you can see your um you can see your what's the word I'm looking for? progression progression mm -hmm. look at that progression. you can see your progression and then eventually you'll build up enough strength to do a pull-up um and so after the push-ups you can also after the pull-up pardon me you can also do push -ups. so if you look how it came up that was perfect because a lot of people a lot of people like to you know now look how i came out of that exercise i pull myself up and then i'm going to take a few steps out and that's it that's how you do it so smooth light butter smooth smooth can't believe it's not marjorie yeah yeah <laughs> call me marjorie because i'm smooth <laughs> I need to do a stream with pickup lines. Y'all, I be having the best pickup lines. But that's a, that's for another day. <laughs> Try them on me. Let's see if they work. I'm gonna reject all of them. I'm rejecting all of them like an Instagram baby. <laughs> so we look. I'm doing TRX push-ups. This is really good for core. But I'm gonna be honest with you. If you're a beginner, start at a higher angle. The lower the angle you are, the harder it is. TRX push-ups are not easy. And you can also get a wide grip. You can do narrow grip. Uh, make sure your elbows are behind because if they're at to the side, like Chantel said earlier, you're going to be overcompensating on the shoulders. As you can see, though, those aren't too those aren't too hard. Um, but yeah, TRX push-ups are not hard. Also, you can do TRX flies. I'm not doing that in the video, but uh, the, the, we just gave you a whole TRX workout you can do tomorrow. Man, so if yes. you go back to this video tomorrow and you want to do a TRX workout, you can literally go to this and at literally we teach you how to do this whole workout exactly if you've like, been seeing a trx in the gym and you thought it was just for decoration yeah, no it's not no, no you know it's how to for use you it. this is for you <laughs> exactly so, no you know how to use it so thank us <laughs> yeah that's a free that's a free work that's a whole workout right there lower body exactly, and upper body exactly exactly and, th and then the last one we're going to go over y'all is core we're going to do our uh, mountain climbers on the trx the first part we're going to show you is uh how to put your feet in mm -hmm. so i'm struggling right here i'm you know i'm on the struggle bus right now you know because i'm i'm six foot six foot one and, you know i'm trying to stick my feet in there but also make sure you get in a good position all right and you see how your feet are hanging on the straps now you can put them on the hard part or you can put them on the uh curve the, uh, on the curve uh the curved straps but whatever you're comfortable with this is good for your core because your feet are suspended in the air and you have to use your hip flexors your lower core, your lower abs, and your obliques. Everything has to be recruited to make sure that you're doing this correctly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, notice, let me rewind it a bit. Notice because a lot of people, especially if you're like me, that's just very awkward. When you put your um feet in it, notice that his knees are on the floor until he sets up and he crawls yep. out on his knee. You will damage, you will hurt yourself. Trust me, I've been there. Don't know how to put my feet in and it's off the floor and it's just it's just a hot mess yeah so yeah, keep yeah. your knees on the floor until yeah, yeah, yeah. you crawl out you'll protect yeah. yourself shout out to exposure <laughs> well <laughs> the hyenas should watch this so they can they can motivate themselves to work out you know they're not in here <laughs> uh, they're gonna be sitting right across the table from mr cheesecake factory <laughs> That's what's gonna happen, man. They're gonna hey, be there, though. That's, that's what's gonna happen. They go the cheesecake hey, factory. Hey, shout out to Quiet Storm for the cash app. Thank you. We going, so we going, we going to the cheesecake factory today on Quiet Storm. Appreciate it. Hey, look, look, look. I, this girl said they leche is gonna taste amazing. I can't wait. I'm excited. I am excited. You know what I'm saying? Look, now we got new life. <laughs> But yeah, this, this is a great exercise. Mountain climbers are great. And if, as we keep watching, I'm bringing both my knees in. And I'm not going to lie, I'm struggling. 
But make the one mistake. Now we can pause right here. The one mistake that I made doing this is that I didn't keep my feet together like they should. I didn't keep my feet together, and I sh I should have I should have did that more because what that's doing is that's helping me keep everything in, and I'm over here, um, and and that would help uh, me burn. That would, that would help my at, my core a little bit more. Okay, keeping my feet together. That's a mistake I didn't make, y'all. And like I said. I, I might be on y'all about y'all's forum, but I'm going to be just as just as harder, you know, just as hard, if not harder on myself about making sure I have correct form because, you know, I got to set the example. So, so we, we we sacrifice ourselves a volunteerist tribute yeah. to, to yeah, do the incorrect yeah, yeah, form and yeah. know what works yeah. and then um, recommend it to y'all. But yeah, the closer you are, the more stick. I mean, and let me just say, this is advanced, right? We're not talking about like this. This exercise is not not. Like you can sit this one out, sis. Yeah. Feel free to sit this one yeah, out. Yeah, this yeah. like takes a lot of core strength, a lot of arm strength, but because if you notice, the only thing that's holding him up are his arms, like his shoulders, yep. biceps. You know, yep. it takes a lot of upper body strength yep. to do this one. So don't feel bad if you can't do it. As I said, you know, try if you can't even get in it, just say try again in yeah, four right. months right. or something. Yeah. Um, but this is a good one. And this is a good if you want to switch up something. Of course, you can do mountain climbers yep. on the floor if y'all know how and to do it. And as y'all can see, I'm struggling doing the alternated mountain climbers. So, you know, but but that that video right there, that kind of three minute video with the TRX, that is a whole workout you can do tomorrow. If you say, I don't know what to do and you're somebody that's, that listens to us on the regular, shame on you because that is a that is an upper and low. That's a full body workout you can do with the TRX alone. And that workout can be no longer than 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, depending on- Shame what on you. Shame, the ghetto. The, <laughs> the ghetto. Where's that one? Yeah. The ghetto. The ghetto. If you all hear in the gym talking about, oh, I don't know how to use this. Yeah, you know, no, nah. you, know. you didn't tap in with Chantel and Dominique. No excuses. Are yeah. right, we going to move on to dumbbells. This one is much shorter. Yeah. So as you can see, I'm doing a flat bench dumbbell. This is very simple. Make sure you're flat, flat on the dumbbell. A lot of people like to put their feet up. I don't care about that. I have the weight parallel with my chest, okay? And as you can see, I'm punching straight up into the air, mm -hmm. all right? My elbows are behind me when I'm down before I start my motion, and I'm inhaling as I'm going down. And when I'm pressing up, I'm punching straight into the air, all right? Punching straight into the air, and I'm going straight up. And I'm not, you know, rounding out. Sorry, I didn't want to punch you in the tail, but I'm rounding no! out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm not even boom. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not rounding it out. I'm punching straight up into the air, and I'm breathing out as I'm doing mm -hmm. it. And, you know, the, those are 65s. Some light. Some light. You know, you know, just some light. You know, nothing, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Trying to show out. He know we're going to be posting on um, yeah. on YouTube. Yeah, so that's what I say. Let me show them what I can do. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. One thing I want to point out on this one: notice that a chest press mimics a um, push up. So even in terms of with his elbows not being far out, but being I kind of like at a yep. nice, um, sorry, mm -hmm. forty-five degrees angle and exhaling as you push up. Now remember, in the push-ups we had said that you're exhaling as you come up off the floor. Same thing with this one; you're gonna exhale as you push up. So yep. um, a chest press is just a reverse, yep. a reverse push-up. Yep. One of my favorite exercises too, especially well, it's a chest day exercise. Yeah. Yep. Um. It and also, you can do this on an incline. Mm -hmm. So you can do it on the incline. You can do it on the flat bench. Uh, this, this is really good. And you can also do chest flies. You can do reverse flies um, that work your back. Um, the, these are great. And this is textbook. I mean, there's not really much to this. And it's the same thing with the incline. You know, I had to I had to go down the way because my chest was on fire. But it's the same thing, you guys. Make sure that your elbows are behind. And you see how I'm not going at a fast motion. I'm not going, you know, too fast. I'm going at a good pace. I'm not over here trying to overdo it, you know, trying to be like Arnold Schwarzenegger or a bodybuilder. Next is the shoulder press. It's the same thing. Remember, y'all, a press is you punching straight into the air. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm doing. And I have my back up against the pad, and I'm able to do that. And then we got our Arnold press. Same exact thing. No wasted motion. My feet oh, are firmly. <laughs> my feet are firmly planted on the ground. You know, Chantel told me to do it over again, but it's fine though. You know, I got a phone call. She, she, want, she wanted me to suffer. It's all good. But but this is I'm telling y'all, this is textbook, y'all, and this is something that you can't say. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. This is perfect. 
because we're explaining it as I'm doing mm -hmm. it. And you can do alternating dumbbell, dumbbell shoulder press, you know, breathing in and breathing out. You see my face, it looks a little bit ugly. You know, we making mean faces. Now, what we're doing here is our tricep extension with the dumbbell. You see how my hands are? They're like this, okay? You want to hold the kettlebell, or not kettlebell, the dumbbell in your hand to where it's enclosed, it can't leave. And as you can see, I'm, I, when I, before I start, I hug my head. The reason why you're doing that is because if you're going out, you're doing a tricep, a tricep uh, extension. You're not working your triceps. You want to keep your head hugged so that way you're going up and down and getting the full extension of the mm -hmm. exercises. Mm -hmm. For me, what I tell my clients, biceps by your ear. Yeah. If you think a lot of visualization, yeah. it keeps your elbows tucked yeah, as opposed to, you know, the, the and you're taking your biceps calling. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> biceps by your ear. And then you exhale as you come up. Now, remember what we talked about earlier? I think we were talking about the um, standing presses when we talked about curving your, yep. your back. In this one, you want to make sure that your core is tight. You're not curving your yep. back, so you're not overcompensating and using too much yep. of your back. You're tightening your core. So mm -hmm. every workout, you should be tightening your core so you can incorporate core in the workout, too. Correct. Um, yeah, but you basically just extend. Yeah. This is Dominic coming with the guns blazing. Yeah, He's like, yeah, I'm going to empty the clip. Yeah, yeah, we in Texas, so it's open carry. You know what I'm saying? We open carry in this next video. Yeah, yeah, you know, bicep curls. Make sure you're not rocking back and forth, you know. You know, make sure you got you got to look at them sometimes. So that when, when you're doing a bicep curl, make sure you can extend all the way down. You can do halfway or you can do a quarter of a bicep curl because what you're doing is you're still loading. You're still loading on the biceps, okay? And you also want to make sure that you're not rocking. Now, my mistake in this video, I'm going to hold myself accountable. Uh, my mistake in this video, I was rocking a little bit too much for my liking. And I didn't realize it. I didn't realize it until now that I'm watching this. And you don't want to rock too much. That's why I should have did it in a stagger stance. Mm -hmm. But that's what happens when your feet are apart horizontally than mm -hmm. being in a stagger stance. Okay. You mm -hmm. got to make sure you're in a good position because stagger, I like stagger stance more than anything. I don't know mm -hmm. why I didn't do it like that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you can say, why'd you freeze it on my face like that? <laughs> <laughs> I, but this, this is perfect, though, y'all. And bicep curls, you know, you can, I extend all the way down because mm -hmm. you want to hit every part of your bicep. This is good for strengthening your forearms. If you have weak forearms and, you're ha and you have grip issues, mm -hmm. this is great mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. You know, also somebody just put in the chat, they curl with their back up against the wall. Oh, yes, that is yes, perfect. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely mm -hmm. perfect. Shout out to Reese. That's perfect. Or have somebody stand behind you with their hand, mm -hmm. with their hand on your back. That helps because that tells you that you either need less weight or more weight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I curl with the back, my back against the wall, so yep. it prevents me from rocking. Yep. Now, with the bicep curls, um, you notice how, okay, a common mistake that people do. Let me tell y'all, this pissed me off too. When, they, <laughs> when they're doing the curls and they're rocking their yeah, arm. Yeah, that, that is, that, you're not working anymore. You might as well just do a row. You might as well just do a row. You know I'm just saying? trying to say, you keep it, your elbows stick to your, it, um, tied to your side, and you, yeah, you curl. It, it doesn't. Right? It, that doesn't make any sense. So hey, what what do I know? You what you need no flexion at your shoulders, yeah, right? Yeah. Um. So that's one important thing to think about when you're thinking of format. As Reese said, standing by the the wall will help with that too. Because you see, when you stand by the wall, mm -hmm. you want to make sure your triceps are at, on the wall too. Um. Y'all, you know about preacher curls? Yep. Yep. When you put your triceps mm -hmm. on the bench and you curl, yep. um, being by the wall takes takes the pressure away from your triceps. So the only thing you're working in that position is your bicep and keeping your elbows fixed to your to your side. Keep your um will activate your biceps too. All right, let's go on to the next one. By, we're on. by the way, the exercise we just went through for the dumbbells, that's a whole upper body workout yeah. in itself right there. Yeah. So yeah. if you want to work your upper body tomorrow with straight dumbbells, that video alone mm -hmm. where you can clip this and say, all right, I'm going to start here. And they're going to show me how to do everything from there. Mm -hmm. We literally showed you all four workouts. That's four different days. And we, we still got two more to show you all. Like, if this live stream is not like... You know, hit, you, hey, man, you know, hit the cash app, man. Hit, hit you know, and I'm, I'm going to keep emphasizing that because this, we take a lot of time and dedication to do this. And, you know, so, but... Let's, let's Dominic got food in to do this. Yeah, <laughs> I, I got Chantel flew me out, y'all.
I'm just trying to figure out who trying to get fluid out there. <laughs> You trying to get fluid out, bitch, or what, man? <laughs> <laughs> no, bitch, yeah. Hey, so she, was like, I'm hey, gonna get fluid out. Hey, I, I had to beg Chantel, please fly me out. Please fly me out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Listen, we joking. Because I know some of y'all can't take a drug. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Pretty soon you're going to hear on YouTube. Yeah, that was Chantel you know, fluid out. Yeah, Chantel fluid out of personal training. You know, she's somebody she's a mama now. So, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got your money. He got money. She got money. <laughs> All yeah. right, on to the next one. You pick up yourself quiet storm. These are dumbbell rolls for back day. Y'all see yeah, that? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Shredded like shredded cheese. Y'all yeah, see yeah. that? No, man, let me put a disclaimer right here. If you want to get like this, shit up, Dominic. <laughs> hey, fellas, look. Hey, man, look. All I'm going to say is this. It takes a lot of hard work to get here, but I'm going to tell you this. It's, 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 it's hard. It's hard because because it when you're when you're working your way when you're pushing yourself and progressing you're gonna start seeing changes and you know not changes in your body but changes in the reaction you get when you're working out like this you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying especially mm -hmm. when you take off the shirt like i said i didn't want to flag nobody's youtube but you can see you can even see just through the tank top you know what I'm saying? but <laughs> but these are uh these are bent over rows this is a good dumbbell, upper body dumbbell exercise. And that and I actually consider this a full body exercise mm -hmm. because you're engaging your core. All right. And you're also you're also hinging at the hips. Mm -hmm. So you're opening up your hips and you have to maintain your balance by engaging your core and being able to roll in and squeezing your back at the top of it. OK. Mm -hmm. And so this is good for posture. This is good for opening up your hips. This is good for a lot of things. I see Gail in the building. Shout out to you, Gail. Thanks Gail. for putting up. Gail says, "So will this exercise help with Batman arms?" Oh, you you talk you talking about the you talking about this the lunch lady arms? I call them lunch lady arms. You know that means you can make a mean mac and cheese. You know it's hot outside in Texas today, so you know yeah the the, the bat arms. You know what I'm saying? You know yes, it to answer your yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, yes, it's yeah. We got you. Gail, you you know where to find us. We can let, let's get rid of them lunch lady arms. Come on now, come on now. Oh, you know I'm gonna take care of you, Gail. You know you you are favorite. So, all right, I actually love these exercises mm -hmm. too. Notice his elbows are back. He's exhaling as mm -hmm. he rolls in. Yep. This is a great exercise, activating your back and also your shoulders and your arms, especially if you're going heavy with it. Yep. And then also, you see how I put the weight down. Make sure you put the weight down safely. A lot of people like to drop it and just throw uh, it. Uh, Y'all can't, can't do that. that. Y'all can't do that. Especially in Planet Fitness. If it drops on you, yeah, it's going to be a, I think it's called a lunk alert. But yeah. if you drop the weight, <laughs> place it softly. Don't drop the weight because that's how you end up hurting your foot. Okay? And if you look, I'm doing a single arm dumb, dumbbell row. I'm keeping everything neutral. I'm keeping my hips back. My feet are shoulder width apart. My knees aren't going in. Everything is neutral. I'm, I'm keeping my head down so my spine is neutral and it's straight. Because mm -hmm. if I'm looking up, mm -hmm. it's causing my spine to have a curvature mm -hmm. in it. I want to show that one more time because this is perfect form. Like nothing oh, about this. <laughs> nothing about his form. I would say, oh, you need to adjust this or anything. This is perfect. Notice how the back, his back is straight. What I will always say is like you can put a water bottle on your back and it doesn't yep. move, right? Yep. So he's not rounding at his shoulders, mm -hmm. his chest all parallel. Like this is for, and then he's pulling the pulling the weight. Now let me see if I have a a view from behind because one a common mistake people will do is they fly their elbows out. Mm -hmm. You want to keep your elbows yep. tough when you're pulling it to prevent injury. So notice his elbows are going up and down, up and down. Yep. It's like you can draw, use a ruler and draw the range of motion with his um with his shoulder, with his elbows. And he's exhaling as he comes up. This is my favorite. Rose yep. with a, a yep. RDL. Rose so we, with the RDL. We discussed RDLs earlier. We're just combining these two exercises yep. for a full body work. Yep. Now, this hurts. Yep. Okay, because you're activating both muscle group and both um, both are compound movements. So multiple muscle group at the same time. Mm -hmm. So this is like straight full body. As we said earlier, you know, we we showing you all this is this is a Thursday workout. Okay, a Thursday workout we, right there. This this whole entire live stream can be a week workout and you can repeat this for a whole month. We giving you a whole month of free workouts. Yeah. A whole month of free workouts, y'all. Y'all taking food off I your mean, mouth. I mean, I mean, yo, like I, we got kids to you know, feed. You know, Chantel flew me out. You know what I'm saying? We got to I got to reimburse her for flying me out. You know what I'm saying? You know, 
<laughs> Golly. Crazy. And the last workout we're going to show you is very, very, very short. Um, ropes. This is a great, uh, this is a great finisher, y'all. This is a really great finisher. This is for right. cardio. Oh, this is because and uh, this is for great cardio. This is great for you. If you want to work out the kinks in your lower body, you can do, uh, you can slam them together. Uh, make sure your feet are wide. You see how wide my feet are? Mm -hmm. My feet are wide. I'm in a squat position. I'm alternating it. And, you know, it's, it's not much to it. It's pretty simple. Make sure you're not <laughs> bent over using your back. Keep a good, steady uh, foundation. Mm -hmm. And also, you can go side to side, working on shoulders, working that back. And this is pretty much, um, you know, this is pretty standard. This is a good finisher. I want to emphasize that he's not moving at his shoulders. If you notice that it's mostly like elbow work, so he's meaning like he's not mm -hmm. doing this, mm -hmm. like um, yep. keeping his keeping his core engaged. If you're mm -hmm. doing that too much, you loosen. You, you're not keeping your core engaged, yep. and um, exhaling, exhaling as you're doing it. Yep. As I said, this just, is a great hit workout. Mm -hmm. Um, go and ahead. it's just constant breathing, making sure mm -hmm. you're breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, just. Going at a good pace with your breathing so you're not passing out. You're not having, you know, you know, breathing like inconsistent. It needs to be consistent, you know, mm -hmm. with the breathing. And this is something you can do like the ball slams that we showed earlier. This is something you yeah. can incorporate in like a yeah. burnout routine yeah. or if you're going to the gym and you're just doing hit yeah. or something. Um, it's full body working your arms. You're in that squat position. So you're yeah. holding that squat. Mm -hmm. When I say y'all, y'all don't even know how much gems we have dropped free game. I mean, man, I, you know, I'm a, you know, I mean, yeah, you, you, you know, we, we do, we do this because we care and we know that people are watching and we know that people are struggling with their health. One in three mm -hmm. people are obese in the United States, mm -hmm. one in three. So that can be your mom, your dad, your son, your grandmother, your grandfather, your auntie, your uncle. And this could be videos that you can show them to help them out. Mm -hmm. This could be something that can help you out. This could be something that can help a friend out, somebody that's in need, because this could be something that can save somebody's life mm -hmm. from being in the hospital, from being off their medicine, from uh, just whatever the case may be. One hundred percent. And as we said, oh, um, Gail said, should I start with 10, 15 or 20 pound dumbbell? It depends. <laughs> it depends. But also, but also you can hit us up. Or a consult, and you know, Gail, we're gonna take care of you because yeah, we, we love, we love Gail, Gail we love Gail. Family. Gail's family. Gail. She's good. Hit us up, Gail. Let 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 us know because mm -hmm. when people when people ask one question about fitness, it turns into two questions, mm -hmm. then it turns into five questions, then it turns into ten, and then that's when they start, you mm -hmm. know, figuring out what they need to do. And here's the Google form, y'all. Here's a questionnaire. If you want a consult, if you want a nutrition meal guide, if you want to be a, a full fledged personal online coach with me where I track everything you do, your sleep, your steps, everything. And I do your one to one personal coaching where you have 24 hour access to a personal trainer like myself. Please contact me ASAP. We're going to we're going to get we're going to get you together. I'm a, Chantel's even going to help me out sometimes. We're going to get y'all together. Y'all, it's going to be amazing. Um, and the reason why we can't answer Gail's question directly, why it has to be a depends, it depends on your um, level, mm -hmm. right? Because yep. Gail's yep. question, should I start with 10, 15 or yep. 20 pounds? It honestly depends. And as I said in previous streams, like you want to push yourself, but you don't want to hurt yourself. For yep. some people, 20 pounds too light, while for some, it's the heaviest yeah. thing they've ever lived. You know, yeah. so it really yeah. depends on what you're used to. Yeah. Um, I, I like to say if you're doing 10 reps and if you get to the seventh rep and you're struggling, then that's a nice weight for you because you just knock out the last three because you're pushing yourself. But if you get to the second rep and you're struggling, it's too heavy. Correct. If you get to the 10th rep and you're like, oh, it's too, it's too light, right? Correct. So you want to, but as I said, it's still specific. And then it's also like when you link Dominic, um, for training, he's able to go over your yeah. injuries, like your mm -hmm. limitation or anything yeah. like that. And Gail, if you can please put a disclaimer in here, we are We're not, not doctors. Mm -hmm. We are not medical mm -hmm. practitioners. Mm -hmm. We cannot diagnose or prescribe anything. Mm -hmm. We are, we are simply healthcare uh, prof professionals as far as fitness. Mm -hmm. We are fitness professionals. And and uh, and Quiet Storm just made, just really made a great comment. And um, and. Quiet Storm said they really can charge for this level of game at full rate, but they're doing this out of the kindness in their heart. Their time is valuable. A cheesecake factor is imminent. You are correct. Thank you. And Quiet. yes, 
we we literally can charge we can make this on a we can put this on a patreon and really charge y'all but i'm telling y'all we gave y'all a full month mm -hmm. workout mm -hmm. that you can repeat for a, mm -hmm. for for a month to two months mm -hmm. and just off this one video mm -hmm. uh depending on what you're going for even if you're just trying to just do anything in the gym this mm -hmm. is a great video yeah. to refer to and you know um y'all that's why i say hit chantel's cash shop take care of her you know hit my cash out for this cheesecake factory and this slutty vegan i'm about to get later tonight so uh yeah man you know so you know it helps help chantel reimburse her for, for flying me out y'all you know i i gotta reemphasize that man you know she flying people out you know China, they go, yeah. the, the drama yeah. the drama channel is gonna have it yeah, have yeah. all in tomorrow yeah, hey, chantel flew yeah out. yeah chantel flying me out man you know hey every, everything you know <laughs> But yeah, y'all, remember, keep in mind that we are not your personal trainers because we do not know you personally. Yep. So we're just giving general yep. information. Hopefully it works for you. If you're serious about the game, hit up Dominic. As I said, if you want a personal trainer who will respond to your text messages, I can, I can definitely help you behind the scenes. I can do consultation. But unfortunately, my schedule don't allow me to have like one-on-one -on -one training. Mm -hmm. Dominic does this full time. So definitely hit him up. Shout out to Gail. Shout out to Quiet Storm for um dropping the link. <laughs> and the... <laughs> <laughs> Chantel got to pay for me and expose. Hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, guilty. Hey, guilty. She paid for me, y'all. She she paid to fly me out. She's taking me to Cheesecake Factory. And y'all know what I got to do later to make up for it. Y'all know what I got to do to make up later for it. So, you know, hey, hey, we, hey, the jig is up, y'all. So, you know, if you don't like Chantel, I'm exposing her right now. She Dominic paid. just trying to get y'all topics look, to discuss look, this week. Okay. Look. look. <laughs> Hey. He just giving y'all something to this stuff. He giving y'all content yeah. this week. Yeah, <laughs> we, we giving everybody content ideas. You clips, know? yeah. Yeah, hyena clips. <laughs> yeah, man, we here. Thanks. Um, I don't remember who was it. Oh, somebody was like, oh, she's in a she's in a sister sister wife relationship because me and Gail always joke that we're yeah. married sister wives yeah. to Idris Elba. Mm -hmm. And somebody was in somebody's comment talking about, yeah, Chantel is in a sister yep, wife relationship. Yep, yep, the sister wife is waiting for us when we done with this clip. So yeah, when we done with this YouTube channel, the sister the other sister wife waiting. <laughs> she 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 went half and half with Chantel in front of me. Yeah, y'all y'all need to get some help. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. The hyenas yelling clips. <laughs> hopefully, y'all, on a serious note, hopefully, y'all did benefit from this conversation, though. It was a good one. As a personal trainer, not being biased or anything because we we did the video, but just like based on the information that we gave, it was a good one. And I mean, point out where we lied when we said that you guys can literally, these are six different exercises that y'all can literally do. As Dominic said, we basically give you a month worth of um of routine because all you gotta do is up the weight. You know as you do it but but if you're serious about it definitely hit up dominic for personal training because um especially if you've tried if you've tried to lose weight and it's been you know it's not going nowhere or if you've lost weight and you gain it all back you definitely need help you can see the picture inside the frame so you definitely need a coach lebron has a coach tiger wood has a coach everybody got a coach. everybody got, i got a coach so. exactly me too yeah big up yourself game changer thanks for being in here um gail said they need something because they don't all oh, gail they don't worn out i'm um, jpt name up. no they need something to all the other <laughs> channels she yes she did i'm telling y'all man tell y'all no lies told here y'all take your little content to do what you gotta do because you know the thing is when they talk about it people are gonna click on this video good. to watch it so hopefully good. when you click hopefully on this they video they get a good workout and some, exactly. and some, and some, and some good information about you tell how she posts from in yes, exactly sir. they click on they can click on this video while they're yes, on the sir. treadmill yes, <laughs> but shout out to y'all again thank y'all for the video go ahead and click the um the like button hit the subscribe button Follow us on Instagram and also feel free to hit up the cash app. I'm Chantel. I'm Dominique and we and we out, man. We be prepared for more content just like this. All right. Take care, guys. Enjoy your weekend. We're gonna enjoy Cheesecake Factory. Shout out to the quiet. And Slutty V. And Slutty V. And Slutty V. <laughs> we hope y'all still take care.